It's no secret that vehicles in the Crew 2 aren't cheap, so saving up for them can be a tedious process, especially if you're not doing it in the most efficient way. In this video, I'll show you three of the fastest ways to make money in the game, so you can get to buying those high-end vehicles as fast as possible. The first method uses the Harlem West Street Race, which is a very efficient way of making money because the race itself is really short. You can find it in New York under a race called Harlem. Select that and then scroll right to get to Harlem West. Before you go into the race though, there are a couple of things you should do to maximise your earnings. The first of which is spending your icon points. Now you will need to be icon level to do this, so if you are in the earlier stage of the game and haven't quite got there yet, then don't worry, you'll still be able to make a lot of money. But if you are icon level, head to the profile menu, go into pilot and then icon points and dump them all into the rich category, which will increase the amount of money you get per race. Another thing you should do to optimise your earnings is to use the right car parts. Any car part above the green level, so blue, purple, gold, will have one or more affixes, which are effectively perks that come with the use of that part. One of the potential affixes is called Rich, and it has this symbol here on it, and any part with this perk will give you a money boost for any race you do with that car. Some parts you already have may have this perk on them, so make sure to equip them. Now you're ready to race, so I'll take you through a lap of the layout so you can really maximise the efficiency of the method. Off the line you can cut across the grass, where I'd recommend using some nitrous. You can then cut another corner under this bridge before getting ready to line up your car to go through this gap in these trees. This is quite a tricky cut, but if you aim to be just on the left of this rock, you should be okay. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be shaving off quite a bit of time here, which can make getting into first place doable, even if you're in a car that's a bit slower than recommended. From there, just make sure you hit this jump here instead of turning right, which is what most of the AI cars should do. So there's some easy overtakes that are possible here too. The race itself is just two laps and takes less than two minutes for most people, yet will make you 25,000 credits, assuming you're on ace difficulty, and with the icon points I mentioned earlier, this is more like 30,000, which translates to 150,000 credits in just 10 minutes, providing you keep repeating the race. Even if you run it on normal difficulty, you'll make that 150k in just 20 minutes, which is a hell of a lot for a new player. And by the way, I'll put an uninterrupted clip of the full race at the end of this video. Now onto the next method, which is not actually a race, but rather the game's photo opportunities. Now this may come as a surprise to you because photo ops are usually just annoying little notifications that pop up every now and then. You should not, however, be ignoring them because they pay incredibly well for what can be very little work. You can make money from them very passively by just doing them whenever they come up, or you can manually go through them by going to the activities menu, clicking on any one of the racing families and then scrolling to photo album on the far right. Here you can see all of the photos available as well as their criteria, so you can pick out the ones that look straightforward. Once you've pinned one that looks pretty easy, I recommend fast travelling as close to it as possible. When you're in the right area, the criteria will be highlighted grey, indicating that you should switch into photo mode. When you've got the right stuff in shot, the criteria will then go green, so you can take the photo and enjoy the credits. Each photo usually takes around a minute or less, but if you're just doing them whenever you get the notification, you'll already be in the right area, so won't have to travel, meaning they take a matter of seconds. Pretty good for 15 to 20,000 credits. The final method is another street race, which is the South Strip found over here in Las Vegas. It doesn't pay quite as much as Harlem West, but it is a bit shorter, and it's a much more interesting track too. All the icon points and car part optimizations apply here, but I've talked about those already, so let's get straight to the shortcuts. Off the line, you can cut straight through the archway, which should give you a big speed advantage. After the little chicane, you can then cut the next two corners by just driving through the fences. Watch out for the trees on the right and then the left. You'll then get to a jump where I'd just advise not going too quickly or using too much nitrogen in the air, as you'll just go straight flying off the track. After the second jump, you can then heavily cut the two corners. Do make sure to avoid this car on the left though, before bearing further to the left to go under the Eiffel Tower and archway here. Do that once more and you've earned yourself between 21,000 and 28,000 credits depending on your icon level points and car parts, which is a really good payout especially for such a fun race. Just the shortcuts is also an easy one to win, even if your car is a bit below the recommended performance level. This means that players who haven't maxed out their car yet can still win races on higher difficulties, leading to higher payouts. And I'll leave you with a full uninterrupted run of this race very shortly. So that's all the methods I have for you in this video. Comment which one is your favourite and if you have any others of your own. My Crew 2 playlist is in the top left of your screen, where you can find loads of other videos on the game, such as reviews, guides and even in-game easter eggs. 
If you have enjoyed this video or found it useful, then a like or even a sub would be absolutely amazing. But that's everything, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.